and what's going on everybody welcome back to the frames yanko vapor channel back at you guys for another review and today we're taking a look at another mechanical mod and it is that keen mechanical tube mod by stan tenacious tx vape and times vape of course 30 millimeter mechanical tube mod with constant contact switch you know something different from stan compared to the dreamer which he's released in the past which is one of my favorite tube mods of all time so much so that i own four of them and constantly have one in rotation so when i heard he was releasing a new mod definitely was excited to get a hold of it and test it out and see what this thing had to offer so of course what we're going to do guys we're going to jump down low show you guys the ins and outs of the packaging everything that comes inside a close look at the mod and the switch and how that all works and all that good stuff then we're going to jump up top give you guys pros cons final thoughts and all that good stuff so with that being said guys we're going to go ahead and dive to that down low right now and yeah we'll see you guys down there And here we are, guys, down low with the Keen Mechanical Tube by Times Vape and Stan Tenacious TX Vape. Of course, this is the packaging your Keen mod's going to come in. And as you can see, definitely could tell Stan had his hand in designing this packaging with the, you know, purple and all the other different colors going on there. Definitely screams Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. So, of course, you got that nice big Keen logo across the front there. Underneath, it says Mechanical Tube Mod. Right here, it says official times vape at all their social media so you can find them on twitter facebook or instagram at official times vape of course times vape and their website timesvape.com right here on this side it's got all three batteries that this model accepts so your 18650s 2700s or your 21700s over here on this side it says times vape engineered for vape and on this side it says be tenacious and of course your three different batteries again and on this side, it says, designed by Stan, TenaciousTXVapes.com. Of course, on the back of the packaging here, guys, you've got all of your specifications, package contents, and all of your warnings. So if you want to give that a pause and a read through, you can go ahead and do so now. Also, down here at the bottom, you've got your color indication next to your barcode and also your scratch and check authenticity as well. So we're going to go ahead and crack it into the packaging here, guys. Of course, first off, you have your Keen Mechanical Tube Mod here, but also your bag of spares. This comes with extra springs. You know, you get one for your switch, one for your constant contact, and two gold-plated springs for the inside of the switch housing itself, which we'll show you guys when we get to that. Of course, like I said, you get your Keen Mod. comes in the blue fishnet thing along with a plastic wrapper around, this, around the mod itself. Make sure it doesn't get all scratched. Of course, as you can see here, guys, you've got Keen engraved right here on this side. Also keen engraved here and a little bit different you know look from what we've seen from stan in the past with the dreamer uh it looks like it's got a couple different gripping options here i think that's what he's going for so you can get kind of more of a low grip or you know if you want you can reach up a little bit higher and grab it up there and i will say the way that this is shaped uh, it does not feel like a 30 millimeter tube mod even though this is a 30 millimeter full hybrid connection guys up at the top you know but you do see a little bit of a seam here well what's that about if it's a full hybrid well, you go ahead and unscrew this, and of course, like I said, you can see full hybrid milled into the top of the deck here, but you get these beauty ring options, guys. They give you a 25, a 28, and a 30 in the package as well, so no matter what you want to rock on here, whether it be a 24, 25, or all the way up to a 30, you could put them on there, and it will look nicely, of course, uh, with the 30 millimeter. If you throw a 30 mil on top, it sits nice and flush, but of course, as you can see with the 25, it gives that little bit of a bevel, so if you want to, like... I've been rocking mine here with the axial on top, just like that, with the 25 millimeter beauty ring on the axial, and I will say it sits nice and flush, and I will say the color matches absolutely perfect. So that's one thing there to look at. Of course, underneath that, you do have all your engravings up here at the top. You have designed by Stan along with your serial number, and of course, you know, designed in the USA, all that good stuff there. On the bottom is your switch, guys. It's got uh, Be Tenacious, but with the Keen logo there and uh, Times Bait. But if you look close, it does look pretty similar to your Dreamer switch. Yeah, that's right, guys. So if you have any of your aftermarket Dreamer switches, you can use them with the Keen as well. And I'll go ahead and show you about how changing those out goes and all that stuff. But yeah, like I said, guys, 30 millimeter gets you three different beauty ring options. Of course, you got battery venting up here at the top. You get one on this side along with one on this side, and of course you've got your three vent holes down here at the bottom of your switch as well. So we're going to go ahead and take this off and take a peek at the switch. And like I said, guys, new constant contact that Stan has developed here. You know, he's got a new constant contact switch that he's incorporated in this new Keen mod. 
Of course, you got a nice big peak insulator along with your gold plated contact right there in the dead center. And I will say a lot of surface area there. So you definitely should get some nice solid contact with this switch. Of course, a little bit different going on here than the Dreamer. So we're going to take a peek underneath this here. We're going to unscrew this gold ring and that's going to be able to take off this constant contact. Of course, you've got your spring here as well that takes up for your battery adjustment. Make sure you don't have any battery rattle. And there's an extra one inside of the packaging as well. Uh, but of course, as you can see here, guys, something a little different. You got a little bit of a doming action going on on the inside of the constant contact itself, which is going to, you know, match up with the domed firing pin, as you guys can see there. Got a nicely domed firing pin that is going to sit right inside that cup and create a lot of good surface area and good contact going on there. But of course, like I said, if you want to change this out and put a dreamer button on there, you can do so. So what you do is you take your tweezers and you just kind of spin out your pin here just like that and you can grab it with your fingers and spin it out the rest of the way take out your switch and of course like I said you get that leaf spring for your button itself very similar to the one that comes with the dreamer and of course like I said extra one inside of the packaging as well and uh, yeah on the inside of the button housing itself I don't know if you guys can see that but inside here there are two of those gold plated springs that are going to, you know, create contact around that pin. Make sure it flows nice and smoothly inside of that when you go to hit that button. And of course, like I said, there are two extras of those inside of the packaging as well. So if you need to change those out, you can do so. Of course, as you can see, you got your three vent holes here that are going to correlate with the cutouts here on the side there. So you have plenty of venting going on on this thing here. But like I said, you want to switch that out for a dreamer switch. One thing that's a little different that I want to show you guys is, is this is the keen switch here. It's definitely a little bit shorter than your dreamer switch, but you will not have any issues when changing these out because that little pin that pops off at the top there, the threads just fits inside the domed part of the pin itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch this out just to show you guys that you can use these dreamer switches or these dreamer buttons with the keen itself. Go ahead and give that a couple spins and then I go ahead and take my ceramic tweezers again, put them in those holes and just give it a nice tighten down. But of course, be very careful when doing this, guys, because you don't want to screw up those gold plated springs on the inside. And you just want to go finger tight. As soon as you feel it stop, you're good to go. Then you're going to go ahead and take your spring for your constant contact. Drop that in there. Take that ring again and just go ahead and screw that in and again I just do this finger tight as well guys that way if I ever need to change out that spring or the pin or the button I can just do that just by reaching in there and doing it with my fingers and then there you guys go with that dreamer sit switch sits nice and flush no issues with that whatsoever so of course what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and throw a 30T in here but of course like I said it comes with the 18650 battery adapter so if you want to use 18650s you can do so and that comes pre-installed inside the tube there so inside guys you also have a full Delrin sleeve that helps with the you know a little bit of extra safety just in case you may have a battery tear or wrap that you did not notice but of course always make sure that you check your batteries for any wraps or tears or dings or dents or anything like that before using the mechanical mod but I do like the fact that they threw that Delrin insert in there this is something I wish I, uh, you would see more with mechanical tube mods just to add that little bit of extra safety in there guys so yeah you got that. Of course, what we're going to do is we're throw our Samsung 30T in this thing here, just like that. And we're going to grab our atomizer. And we're going to screw our button down nice and tight, just like that. And uh, boom, we have the vapors. So, of course, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to jump back up top, give you guys pros, cons, and final thoughts on the Keen Mechanical Tube Mod itself. So yeah, with that being said, guys, we'll see you up there. And here we are, guys, back up top with that Keen Mechanical Tube Mod by Stan Tenacious TX Vapes and Times Vape. So what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to start with our pros and work our ways to our cons like we normally do. First pro for me, guys, is the overall fit and finish of this thing here. I will say when I first seen pictures of this, I wasn't quite sure about, you know, the shape of this thing here. But once I got it in my hand and actually seen it in person and, you know, figured out the grips and everything like that, I will say I am loving the overall fit and finish of this thing here. Of course, you got that nice, clean, keen engraving going on here. Not sharp or anything like that. Nicely smooth. 
So I will say, you know, the overall machining on this thing as well, guys, is absolutely on par. Threading is absolutely beautiful. No crunchiness, no grinding or anything like that. Not only on the Switch, but the Beauty Ring as well. Absolutely great machining. And of course, one thing I love that they did with this as well, guys, is they added that Delrin insert on the inside. So that adds that little bit of extra safety. Of course, you definitely still want to make sure you're checking your batteries for any rips, tears, dings, dents, or anything like that just to be safe. But just the fact that they added that Delrin insert in there adds that little bit of extra safety. And it's something that I would love to see from, you know, more mechanical mod manufacturers here in the future. It's, you know, something simple, something easy that can just add that little bit of extra safety. So big ups to Times Vape and Stan for, you know, incorporating that in, in this mod here. Next big pro for me, guys. The fact that they add the multiple different beauty rings in here so no matter what you're going to rock like me personally i'm rocking a 25 on here let's say you want to throw a 27 or a 30 or a 28 or anything like that on there you get the three different beauty ring options so no matter what you want to put on here you can find something that's going to look nice and you know incorporating those beauty rings so that's definitely a huge pro for me as well because you know you want to rock a 30 mil on here you don't want to rock it and have that weird bevel going on there you want to have it sit nice and flush so they go ahead and give you that 30 millimeter beauty ring just to throw on there. Throw your 30 millimeter atomizer on there. Sits nice and flush, and I will say they do look very nice. And of course, you want to throw your Arden on here. It will not sit hybrid, but you can throw that 28 millimeter beauty ring on there. Put your Arden on there, and it does look nicely on there as well. Um, next big pro for me, guys, is the constant contact switch. I'm absolutely loving this constant contact. Now, of course, with that being said, you know, constant contact, that's going to help get rid of those battery arcing marks on your battery. Of course, you might have a little bit of arcing going on on the internal, you know, side of this constant contact, but there's not going to be any arc marks on your battery, which is a huge, huge pro for me because that was one thing about the Dreamer that kind of got, got on my nerves a little bit, especially with that multi-point pin. You could definitely get quite a bit of arc arcing marks going on there on your switch so with this constant contact gets rid of that completely so your batteries are going to look just as nice as when you put them in the mod so big pro on that constant contact switch which is going to add to the overall performance of this thing guys this thing hits hard you know of course this is a stainless mod so it's not going to hit as hard as like your copper or your brass or anything like that but even for a stainless mod guys this thing hits super super hard so i will say the overall performance of this thing is definitely definitely up there with some of the top you know tube mechs that i've used personally um and i honestly kind of think that this might hit a little bit harder than the dreamer and that, that's just me personally uh, i've rocked this you know with the same build on my dreamer that i have on this and i will say that i think i get just that little bit of extra out of this thing here of course i rock mine with the samsung 30t but of course they get the three different battery options guys so if you want to use the 18650 they have that battery adapter in there as well so you can do that or you could throw a 2700 or like i said 21700s but one thing i'd like to mention as well if any of you guys out there have your dreamer stacks and you got your you know, the little disc that you put in between your batteries when you stack them you can throw one of these in there with a 2650 and rock that as well so that actually gives you four different battery options which is awesome and uh, i kind of think you know it'd be a nice idea if times they would just throw one of these discs in with the keen or with the dreamer so you can rock those 2650s because i do the same thing with my dreamer as well so that's just a little you know pro tip for you guys out there and if you don't have those dreamer you know discs that come with the stack and you have like a pulse adapter laying around you can literally cut the sleeve off of that and use that just the same as that dreamer stack disc so yeah four different battery options guys that's fantastic so that's going to be a definitely huge pro for me because you know sometimes you may have you know some 30 t's that you're using that are on the charger and all you got laying around are 18 650s or all you got you know charged up at the moment is a 2700 you could throw those in there and get off and vape in and this thing absolutely performs no matter what kind of battery you have in there but me personally i think this thing shines with the 30t in there it just hits super nice and hard and as soon as you hit that switch it's just off and vaping guys so definitely loving the overall performance of this mod and the fit and finish and uh one pro for me full hybrid connection guys which is going to add to very low voltage drop because you know you don't have any of those extra threadings going on there with the hybrid cap or anything like that it's literally milled straight into the tube so that means like i said very low voltage drop which is going to add to the overall performance of this thing and like i said this thing hits like a mac truck guys so i will say that's going to be kind of a pro but one thing that's going to kind of be a con which means you're not going to be able to hybridize your ardent to this thing guys which is kind of kind of a bummer to me you know having a hybrid atomizer you know for the dreamer i would kind of would have liked to possibly throw it on the keen but of course the keen and the dreamer are completely different mods guys you know you can tell just by the look you know the way that the button housing is and all that stuff so i can kind of see why you're not able to do that here on this and you're just kind of going for a different type of you know angle on this thing here very high performance you know a low voltage drop a lot of contact so 
that's just kind of a little con, guys. Other than that, I don't have any cons on this thing, guys. I really don't. Like I said, I love the overall fit and finish of it. I love the way it performs. I love the multiple different grip options that you get on this thing here. The multiple different beauty ring options as well. So depending on what kind of atomize you're going to throw on there, there's a beauty ring in the package to accommodate it. And of course, like I said, constant contact. I'm absolutely loving that, getting rid of that arcing mark. So definitely, definitely would suggest picking this thing up and it is available on lucidrda.com guys or tenaciousTXVapes.com and you can check them out there i think they're out 85 bucks for a mod that performs like this is an absolute steal so i would definitely definitely suggest picking this up and of course there's a couple different color variants out there they've got copper they've got brass they've got your stainless they've got your black stainless and possible other color variants coming here in the future because you know how times vape does it they'll release some and then who knows you know a couple mounts down the line they might release some other colors so definitely keep an eye out for that guys Overall, great mod, performs well, fit and finish, on point, so definitely suggest picking it up. With that being said, guys, that's it for this review, but make sure you guys stay tuned for Wednesday's review. We're going to be doing the Serpent Elevate, you know, do a little RTA action for you guys, so stay tuned for that video. You can also make sure you guys stay tuned for Friday's The Green Room with me and my boy Sean Typhon and all that good stuff. And with that being said, guys, send those positive vibes, crisp pop vibes your way, and yeah, let's just vape on, y'all.